What's up guys, John here from Titan, and I'm here with our athlete, Titan athlete, Rachel Daniels, AKA The Real Lois Lane. Uh, and if you guys have been following us and following her journey, basically at this point, we're getting her ready for Olympia. Well, she's won three contests back to back to back, which is a three-peat so far, and we're going on for the fourth, but with all this comes a lot of training, right? You're beating yourself up, putting yourself through the ringer, yeah. and she's got this die-hard dedication. She wants to win, which is awesome. So with that might come some injuries or some things that you, you know, cannot prevent and things that happen. So you gotta make sure you're taking care of yourself. More of the story is, is her shoulder started hurting what, how long has it been? It's a couple weeks at least. A couple weeks, and she's still been training. So at, when she said she couldn't do certain movements, the best thing for us to tell her to do is, is to get an MRI. Make sure there's no damage in there or find out what's going on so it can be properly treated and that she doesn't do any more damage to her shoulder. Um, so at this point we got the MRI done for, uh, the MRI was done and it said basically a sprain. Yeah. Cyst, you know, it was in the labrum, um, but no tear. And we're specifically looking for that tear. Yeah. Um, Cause we didn't know and hopefully it wasn't a slap tear. But it wasn't, so what we're gonna do right now is try to get her some relief because she's still in some pain, right? And she's a tough cookie, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> tough cookies don't crack easy. <laughs> so, you know, we're gonna give her a cortisone shot. Uh, we have our nurse practitioner, Cass, here, mm -hmm. and he'll be doing the injection for her and her delt and hopefully get her some good relief um, so she can at least, you know, let it rest, take the inflammation out, what would you say, Cass, as far as this goes? So what we're doing today is a, a joint injection of, of a cortisone steroid that's going to help with inflammation. It's going to help with pain. It's going to help with range of motion immediately, okay? Um, this is something that you don't want to feel better all of a sudden, then overtrain and re-injure yourself. So you want to take it easy. You want to not train for at least a week or so so you give the joint chance to heal, okay? Because it's going to feel better. You don't want to do any damage when you when you get the better feeling of the relief and hurt yourself, mm -hmm. okay? So just rest it, be ginger with it. Okay. So right now, Cass is preparing um, the shoulder, the deltoid for the injection, for the cortisone shot, um, and this will hopefully give her some relief. So at this point right now, he's clean and prepped it. He's actually looking for the area where he's going to stick it, might make sure that he's going into the proper area, and luckily, he's got some great experience of this. You know, I've had cortisone shots done by uh, Cass, and he's been a great nurse practitioner as far as that goes, uh, and be able to d deliver with his hands. Uh, at that point, he's definitely got me some good relief, and if I trust him to do it with my body, I definitely trust him to do it with the patients. I'm a real big stickler when it comes to these different things, because you can cause some damage if you don't know what you're doing. So make sure a proper medical provider is doing something like this to you, um, so you make sure that you don't do any irreparable damage to yourself. So right now he's already placed where he's going to give the injection at. Um, he just wants to make sure, always double checking. So he's looking at the spot. Right now he's found his spot and he's gonna go in. He's going right into the joint right now. That's not bad at all. It doesn't hurt. It, it, it does have lidocaine in there mixed in there with the Light cortisone. The and at that point it, it should take away any of the sting or any of the, the pain that you're in, injecting in there. Because you are filling it with fluid, really so great. for some people it might be uncomfortable for them getting an injection like this, but the lidocaine is gonna take away some of that pain that you would have, and then the steroid is gonna take away from the inflammation. So if you are in a lot of pain, this is definitely gonna take away that pain for you to get some relief. And that's the big thing. People really, really need this sometimes. Yeah. Now, this is not something you can do week after week or anything like that. You can only do a certain amount of cortisone injections um, to, into areas per year, okay? And I think the, the maximum they say is four per year, um, or even three just by some medical providers and what they wanna do for you guys. But the biggest thing is get relief, let it heal, and then get back into the game, work your way back up, so you're not doing any more damage to your body or getting other injuries that you could prevent. So just make sure that you guys are warming up properly. Um, you guys aren't trying to get an ego boost and lift all crazy. That's one thing about Rachel, you know, she is a girl. 
but she trains with some of the biggest beasts mm -hmm. out here in Tampa. Oh, so cute. she always wants to step up and do that weight <laughs> and get tight and strong with these guys. Uh, she definitely does hold her own. So hopefully this will help you. Yay, I got a little band-aid. She even got the little lion, lioness band-aid. She's ready to go. So this was just something else the Titan Medical Center helps our athletes and our patients with. Um, if they need relief like this with cortisone shots, we are happy and able to help our patients here in the area. So if you guys want to know more about this or any of our other therapies, you guys can call or text us at 727-389-3220. Thank you for coming in, Rachel, and getting that done. Thanks, guys. Hopefully she feels better, and we're on our way to Olympia. Yeah. See you there.